Okay, so this is Miss B, female Connie Corso. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Today we're gonna do muzzle conditioning. I've been teaching her just to go in the muzzle. Muzzle. Good. So there's a positive association with the muzzle. She's not afraid of it. Muzzle. Good. So been working with it in the house. Now we're doing the outside. Now I'm putting it on <clears throat> for maybe a minute and then taking it off just to get her familiar with it. Good girl. So the reason why I'm conditioning her to the muzzle is because sometimes I wanna take her out to public and not have to worry about her um, biting somebody. And so for the most part, I have pretty good control over her, but there's just that 1% where some kid comes up from behind or a drunk person comes up, you know, antagonizes a dog and then something happens in the split of a second, right? So in cases where I don't want to be micromanaging my dog and I just want to have a conversation with my friends while my dog is with me, I would then muzzle her so that way I know 100% that she won't hurt anybody. So Ms. B is kind of a sensitive girl, so I want to introduce this to her properly to where when I decide to use it, she's not like freaked out and wanting to take this thing off. So in order to do that, I have to practice here at the house. If she's okay here at the house, then she'll most likely be okay outside because she's had the practice of it. Muzzle. Good girl. So this muzzle has holes in it. So I'll also ask her to muzzle and then I can feed her treats through in here. Miss B. Muzzle. Good girl. Just put the treat through here and she'll eat the treats as she puts her nose in the muzzle. So now the goal is to tell her the muzzle, strap it on her, and then run a couple obedience commands. Good girl. And then training session is done. In the very beginning, I would muzzle her, put it on, and right away she would go crazy trying to take it off. And she was so distracted by it that she wouldn't be able to listen to my commands. So if I said side, she would just go off this way trying to take it off. So I've been working on this with her daily inside the house for the last couple days. So now we're moving outside. Miss B, come. Good girl. Muzzle. Yes, good girl. So now I'm gonna go ahead and strap it on. This kind of takes a, a few seconds to do. So she's already used to putting her nose in there and getting rewarded. So it's not really a big deal right now. Good girl, come here. See, watch her. Good. Good job, girl. Down. Miss be down. Good. Side. Yes. Good girl. Side. Good. She's freaking out a little bit. We just want to keep it short and fun. Side. Good. Yes. Good girl. So then I take it off. Good job, girl. 
Side. Muzzle. 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 Yes, go girl. I ran out of treats. Good job, girl. Good job, girl. Touch. So now we mix obedience. Side. Good. Muzzle. Yes. Good girl. That way it's not just muzzle the whole time. She associates muzzle with training. And when we say training, it's kind of like playtime for the dog. Good girl. Muzzle. Yes. And so I know the training's working because even after I tie this up on her and she kind of freaks out a little bit, even after I take it off and ask her to do muzzle again, she goes for it. So she's comfortable with this. Muzzle. Yes. So it's just a matter of doing it daily. I'm going to do it twice a day, one in the morning, one at night. And every time I strap the muzzle on her, I'm going to leave it on longer every single time. So right now I did, I don't know, 30 seconds. So tonight I'll do 35 seconds. And eventually I'll get to the point where she'll be comfortable wearing it for hours at a time. So this is how I'm doing it with this dog because Ms. B is kind of a sensitive dog to where if she gets a bad association with something, she tends to shy away and um, you end up going like five steps back. So with Uso, there was no problem with Uso. It took me a couple days for him and he could wear the muzzle all day long. He can train on it, do all these commands and it wouldn't bother him. So every dog is different. You gotta train the dog that's in front of you. And um, although Miss B is a beast when it comes to guarding and protecting, there's, uh, she also has a really sensitive side. <coughs> Miss B, come. Oh, muzzle. Break, good girl. Good job, girl. Okay, get the ball, get the ball. Good. Right here, right here, right here. Come on, right here. Good job, go get it. And then play time.